Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Welcome to Throwback Thursday and look what we have today. This is a beautiful 1984 Electroglide Classic FLHT. This is the first year of the Evo engines in these bikes. And uh, so let's take a look at that. Nice tall motor down there. Just a beautiful thing. We think it has a five speed transmission, although some of the reading I did said that some of them had four speeds. I'm not sure. And without without running this machine, I don't know how to tell the difference, but just look at this whole thing. Isn't that just a thing of beauty? Just an absolutely gorgeous thing. This is the, uh, it's called the Toy Box at Lus Hills Harley-Davidson. All of these motorcycles are for sale down here. These are all used bikes. Absolutely gorgeous place. Anyway, a bunch of trikes here too. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's at least six trikes here. But uh, anyway, just a fabulous bike, isn't it? It seems to have very good paint yet. Uh, the, you know, there isn't a lot of wear everywhere, so I think the mileage is actually probably accurate. 30,000, I think I said. Just a beautiful thing. So what is it again? Well, it's a Evo equipped. It's got an 81.7 cubic inch engine. It's 1,337 cc's. Overhead valve. Cams down here, of course. Push rods. Valves in the head. It's got two valves per cylinder, one exhaust, one intake. Uh, horsepower numbers were kind of hard to find on this. I found everything from 50 all the way up to 70. So the, the medium number I kept running into was uh, about 64, 64 horsepower. The compression ratio is about eight and a half to one, and this thing is supposed to have a top speed of about 90 miles an hour. Torque numbers on this were about 69 foot-pounds. That's 89 Newton meters. You know, that's a pretty good amount of torque. Uh, weight on this bike, 761 pounds. That's 375 kilograms, so it's got a lot of mass. Uh, about, about as much as the new ones do, honestly. Maybe a little more. You know, of course, that Evo motor was a torque monster in its day. And, all you know, they were supposed to be incredibly reliable. Uh, what they lacked was power, they said. You know, they, they couldn't really build them up. They, when you build them, they, they had problems, apparently. But uh, front tire and back tire, as far as I can see, anyway, is a 130-90-16, both front and back. And they look about that. I can't really find the uh, writing on the back one. Disc brakes, dual disc brakes on the front. And the discs were, uh, I think they're supposed to be 254 millimeters. Both the, the single disc on the back and each, each one of these uh, discs on the front. They're single pot calipers. So fixed disc, floating caliper, single piston. And I'm thinking that's what the rear was. So there's really no way to get a look at the back one. But just, just look at all the detail on this thing. Just a lot of really neat stuff there, isn't there? I really like it. I just, I really do. I'd love to have something like this. You know, the first year it came out. Um, if you have a space for this in your garage, get a hold of these guys at Lus Hills. They were glad to help you out. LusHillsHD.com. Just a beautiful, I mean, look at the paint on this. It's just, you know, how, how does a bike make it this long like that? Just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, so let's go over the let's go over the dash here real quick. Very, very uh, 80s for sure. Analog instruments, fuel gauge, oil light, neutral light, high beam. They've got an air pressure gauge there, maybe. Voltage meter on this side. This is probably a cassette deck. Yes, it is. If you got any old cassettes, there you go. Speaker button down here. It says speaker on and spotlights over here on that one. We'll leave that off. Running up here, start button. Engine button. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, AM, FM, weather band radio right there. That's interesting. And then on this side, high lows, horn, uh, volume, recall. I think this is a, oh, that's a CB. Okay, I do not see cruise control. I thought I thought this was a cruise control earlier, but I'm wrong about that. Left turn signal on this side, right turn signal on that side, of course. You know, very classic. <laughs> I love the way it looks. I just love the way it looks. Mirrors up here instead of down here. It's, like I said, it's got the wind deflectors, the crash bars, front and rear. Very nice. Bumpers. It's got running boards in the front and on the back. Uh, old motorcycles like this are just hard to come by in this shape. I'm very impressed with this. I... Uh, I just love the way it looks. Phenomenal, you know, phenomenal bike. I remember when these came out new and I, I just was amazed by them then. And I'm absolutely amazed by this one. You know, this is a, this is what I would call an analog motorcycle. <laughs> just, it's got, it's got everything. Let's look at one of the bags here if we can get them open. Oh, the lid's come off, okay. 
a little bit of wear there. We'll get back to that. She's really quite a good looking motorcycle, isn't she? Just a thing of beauty. <laughs> Got these little Harley eyebrows over the lights. 84 on the windshield, little eagle on the front there. I don't know if that lights up or not, I rather doubt it, but you never know. The bumper, just a gorgeous, gorgeous motorcycle. Just a gorgeous thing. I like everything about it. Some of the add-ons would be the bumpers, the chrome up here, the wind deflectors, the bars, this thing here, and I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'm not sure what these are, I think, uh, anyway. Luggage rack on the back, just a beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing. And I, fuzzy biker, am not gonna ride that bike. <laughs> but hey, thanks for coming to Throwback Thursday and y'all get out there and ride, wahoo.